Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by IITians where we learn and understand physics to crack examinations as well as interviews. So before any preparation, we should know the preparation strategy to crack the exams. So today I shall discuss a very important topic that is how to crack entrance examinations like NET, GATE, JS, TFR or any entrance examinations, uh, how to crack it. So what will be the what should be the preparation strategy to crack that exam. So please friends, my request is to watch the full video so that you can get the benefit from my video. So let's start. Before uh, the exam, you should, uh, before preparing for the exams, you should first, the first step is to scrutinize the syllabus, okay? I think you all know that before uh, preparing any exam, you come to know about the exam and you should know about what is it for and the, all the general details of the exams. So, I, I, I am assuming that you know all the general details of the exams, like what is the exam? what kind of uh, uh, opportunities I can get after cracking the exams, like these things. So this will be the total preparation strategy for cracking the exams after getting the general information about the exams. Okay, so let's start. You should scrutinize your syllabus. Okay, so think uh, this word that is scrutinize. Scrutinize meaning you should know very well about the syllabus, the structure of the syllabus, the topics that are very important to the syllabus, uh, which you will, it will be the next day. So you should first scrutinize your syllabus. You better you should take a printout of the syllabus or somewhere, I mean, you um, understand the syllabus and you should memorize the syllabus, okay? You should memorize the topics, okay? Then go through the previous year papers. It is a very important thing that whenever you are scrutinizing the syllabus, I am assuming that you are, uh, you know the things as well. So whenever you are scrutinizing the syllabus, you can understand the topic. And whenever you are going through the previous year questions paper, you can understand uh, the important topics of that question paper. So what will be the next next? phase in the next phase of your preparation it is a very important very important phase of your preparation that is list the topics from most important to least Im important how to do that suppose i am telling you the net question paper net csi net physical question paper you scrutinize the questions from uh, different years that is june 11 up to june uh, december uh, up to december 19 i think Okay, but from June 11 to June 2017. So, before scrutinizing or listing up the things means that you first uh, choose the topics, separate the topics like mathematical physics, classical mechanics, quantum mechanics, electromagnetic theory, electronics, atomic physics, nuclear physics, thermodynamics, solid state physics, experimental method, general aptitude. So, general aptitude is for 20 marks or um, uh, I think general aptitude is 30 marks okay it is uh, wrongly written so for uh, you need to know the most important topic how do you understand that suppose there are two parts part b and part c okay so you list the questions number of questions coming from that topic like in mathematical physics in december uh, june 2017 mathematical physics part b uh, uh, there were five questions and part C, there were also five questions. So total 10 questions. Classical mechanics, total eight questions. Quantum mechanics, total eight questions. Electromagnetic theory, eight questions. So uh, like listing up the most important topic and the least important topic. How do you list the weightage? That is the most of the questions are coming from mathematical physics. Look, B part B is of 3.5 marks, part C is 5 marks. So, is of 5 marks. So, 5 into 5 means 25 and 5 into 3.5. So, you can score a huge, huge from this topic, from these important topics. So, you need to understand that how to score m maximum. So for maximum scoring, you need to cover the most important topics which are coming in your examinations. So you list up the topic, okay? And your preparation start, preparation accordingly. 
okay if you find okay i cannot prepare mathematical physics i am i am kindly i am getting bored with mathematical physics okay i would suppose there is a situation you shouldn't get bored mathematical physics actually is very interesting but is this example that you are getting bored from mathematical physics or you don't want to uh, prepare for mathematical physics first so you you can also start from the topic which you get interested you are interested like electromagnetic theory if you are interested then start from that it is not a i mean hard rule that you should follow the mathematical physics first and then classical then quantum then emt that doesn't matter first you can also choose the topic which you are mostly interested then prepare for the topic and it should be also it should be of uh, high weightage it's not like that i am going the experimental method topic and i am um, thoroughly going with this um, uh, uh, with the topic and then uh, at last i mean i spend one month okay and then i come other topic i mean i we shouldn't do like that we should prepare our topics which are very important as well as interesting okay so let's suppose you are starting with electromagnetic theory then you come to quantum mechanics then you can come to classical physics or the from electromagnetic theory you can come to classical mechanics you can come to quantum mechanics uh, before quantum also you can go to mathematical physics then you come to quantum mechanics it up to you or you start from electronics and then you go to mathematical physics and one by one classical mechanics quantum mechanics emt it's your choice but the thing is that the topics you first cover that are should be within this part i mean they that should be very 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 high weightage value okay so they should be your preparation strategy that you should start to find out the topics from the most important to the least important now the next next very uh, i mean important thing is that note down the references books and arrange them accordingly okay so like i have uh, so set up some examples like mathematical physics r k n h k das boas or classical mechanics golden goldstein jc upadhyay gupta kumar sharma also i have listed some um, books from mathematical physics i have told you classical mechanics i told you em the em theory griffith is a very important book also em uh, electro walter grain big hosh quantum mechanics also zetli and griffith are the most important books also quantum physics ac verma you can also harul das solve problems i don't go with the solve problems with solutions i mean i don't like those books please first um, uh, try Um, to solve anything by yourself first then go for solution okay and thermodynamics also pathria is very good book and rafe also very good book electronics also the halkias milman halkias is very good book and atomic physics uh, banwell maclish is very good book white is very very good book for easy understanding rajkumar um, is also good ordnance matter kittel puri babbar is the most i mean easiest book puri babbar and ms wahab these books are very and kittel also easy book so also for nuclear physics i am should suggest you go to griffiths dc tile sb patel okay so these are very important books so you should list out the books first and then arrange them accordingly okay and then there are two options for your preparation one is to hard work one is to smart work so the choice is yours whether you want to do hard work or smart work the thing is that smart work will take less time hard work will take most time okay now uh, how to start your hard work okay if you are a hard working person so first learn chapter wise okay so so arrange the books then learn chapter wise solve the examples and solve previous papers okay and if you want to do smart work what should you do look into the question paper first note down the required formulas solve the questions and solve the similar questions from previous papers so smart work you don't have to study uh, uh, the whole chapter chapter wise uh, okay so you you just want to know the brief understanding of the topic and the questions that are coming in the previous years and you note down the related formulas and you solve the questions and solve all the previous questions the similar questions and some twisted questions from the same topic so that you do practicing and you can um, solve the questions in the examination hall also now hard working people they have a general question that how to uh, do cover all the syllabus uh, if i go chapter wise 
so i mean uh, studying if i study chapter wise it will take very long time so how do you uh, complete the whole syllabus so don't worry it don't uh, i mean it uh, we have 24 hours and if you are studying i mean doing msc or if you are studying you you are studying physics right so you are doing msc or whether you are preparing so you are uh, staying at your home or somewhere else so you are doing uh, studying physics so it is not out of your physics syllabus so it is all uh, is included in in your physics syllabus so it's not i mean very hard to go chapter wise to read chapters okay so it shouldn't take ma uh, uh, many hours okay so you learn chapter wise you complete each, each chapter you set a target that i shall uh, complete the chapter of electrostatics tomorrow today and then i solve the question and uh, within tomorrow i shall complete my task so you just set your target and do chapter wise and also solve the examples it is very important and solve previous paper it is also very important now the benefit of hard work is it is very long lasting and it includes preparation for interview as well so what you want to know that after cracking the examinations you need to face the interviews so whenever you are facing interview you not, need to know the physics there and th that time this hard, hard working will decide the game who will be staying in the playground and who will be going out so i always focus that you should hard work hard and you should understand the physics okay now the next thing that is only focused for the researchers those who want to become a scientist or who want to do devote themselves for research work so especially for the students who want to devote them in research so understand the physics deeply question everything that is why how and when and interrelate the topics like you you are studying EMT, you should relate it with the atomic physics. You should relate it from atomic, you should relate it with the quantum. Or, or if from EMT, you should relate with the optics. From optics, you can relate this to quantum optics. So, relate the interrelate the topics. These are not the different things. So, you should understand why the, are the theories are coming one by one. Do not memorize the formulas without understanding it. This is a very important thing. And for deep understanding, what you need to know, you need to know how and why the formulas or theories came, come, meaning of the terms and visualize it. This is very important. Now many of the students question me, the coaching institutes are important or not. It's your choice whether you are, uh, you are willing to join any coaching institute. But test, I would rather recommend that you can join in any test series so that you can understand your position so that you can um, they you give your test series and you can get the marks and you can understand the higher score i mean the what is your position to the compared to others so to know the situation you should you should join a test series but it's not not necessary to join any coaching institute for the entire preparation now <coughs> what should you do side by side with the preparation you should know current topic of research in your field okay do your project very carefully and it's better to publish a paper during your msc it will be very helpful for the phd admission i swear that if you have msc with the paper with a publication you will definitely get um, a phd in uh, good research institutes like tifr brc because some of my friends are there okay so that's why i'm telling you you should focus on your project also and publish a paper be specific about your choice of field watch good content videos this is very recommended and join our telegram channel also because we also share every uh, the updates of research articles that each and every day we post the new research proposals in our telegram channel that is physics by iitians and if you have any query you can join the other telegram channel this physics by iitians official which you and we both are connected with each other and the most important thing is keep yourself highly motivated so friends i think this is enough for today please keep yourself highly motivated and study physics thank you